Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Now, this is going to grab headlines, and I know this time of year uh, we see these big things out there. Sometimes these big waves roll off, and they're talked a lot about on social media, and it looks like everything's going to be this giant hurricane. Well, it's a wait and see. This is way out here. So again, I'm trying to reduce some anxiety as we go throughout the season. One of the good things about the tropics is we have time to watch things and see how they evolve. This is the coast of Africa, but this wave is one to watch for the potential of development. Two weeks ago, I did a video on this very wave on how we would see development during this time to kind of give you that early heads up. So not a surprise to us as you follow this uh, channel, but let's start with that. So again, here's Barbados. We get back through Trinidad and Tobago, and here's this wave we're watching off the coast of Africa. Again, there's a couple more waves out there, but that is the stronger one. Now, as we go out in time, let me advance this further and stop it by the time we get into Thursday. So this is several days from now. The wave sitting right about here. Here. Now there's dry air to the north of it. So it's going to have to fight off some of that dry air for it to develop. So I don't just look at the models. I'm looking at all the environmental conditions. Here we are in the Caribbean. Here's Bermuda. Now let me take you out in time as we go forward. And again, this is the American model. I'm going to talk about the models in a second. This is by Saturday. By Saturday, it's still out here in the central Atlantic. So it's a big wait and see. Several days to watch this, if not a week, week and a half. But by Saturday, there could be some development out of this as it gets a little bit closer to the Caribbean. Will it develop? Still a question mark. And then does it move into the Caribbean or does it move to the Northeast? Still a question mark. It is easier to know where things are going to go once they finally spin up, once they develop. But as I just showed you, this is just coming off the coast of Africa right now. So it is a wait and see. I'm watching all the environmental conditions out ahead of it. But again, it is definitely one to watch, one that could very well develop. But again, I want to see how it does over the next couple days with that dry air to the north. So what are the models doing with this? Well, the GFS is the American model. I just showed you that. It showed some development out of it. It takes it a little bit slower. The uh, American model tries to make this a tropical storm or even a hurricane down the road. The American model likes to do that with a lot of systems. It kind of blows them up a little bit more than other models. Could happen, a wait and see. The European model is checking in on that. All generally the same track as a whole. It has a, this wave go a little bit faster and it does not develop it into a major system, at least over the next week or so and just kind of scoots it off toward the Caribbean. But with that said, if it stays weaker and moves faster, that could be a pretty big rainmaker for the Caribbean, and then eventually it could, again, spin up. Again, a lot of variables at this point. That's where the wave is now. Here is the Caribbean. There's tons of real estate in between, lots of environmental conditions for it to deal with. So again, I am watching it for you. You're gonna hear a lot of it about this on social media. Uh, I do this channel for safety and that's it. So I'll give you the accurate information uh, to help protect lives and property as we go throughout the rest of the hurricane season. So again, one to watch. Now, as we go through the hurricane season, we are expecting, I, at least I am, uh, an above average season. I talked about that in a video in March that it would be an above average season. We are way ahead of average. Don formed on July 14th, a few days ago. That was the fifth storm already. Fourth named storm, but there was one unnamed storm in January. So that's five systems so far by July 14th. The average for five systems, classified systems, is August 22nd. So we are about 40 days ahead of schedule this hurricane season. And here's why, one of the big reasons why, the water temperatures are so, so very warm. Water temperatures are just one factor, but this season they are a big factor. Because again, even if this were to be like the European model and keep it weak, once this wave gets into the Caribbean, it runs into very, very warm waters. And again, that could allow it to develop. But again, that is well down the road. Now we have Don out there, subtropical depression in the North Atlantic. The next name on the list is Emily. So we'll see if eventually that system off the coast of Africa, coming off the coast of Africa get, gets a name. Whatever the next name system is, the next name on the list is Emily. Out here in the Central Pacific, here's Hawaii. There is Calvin. Calvin is a weakening system, and I'll show you why in a second. Here we go across Central America, watching the Eastern Pacific, the Baja, 
uh, we have a little flare up. There's a flare up here, but over here, a little bit of a spin there that may try to develop as it moves away. But here's the latest on Calvin. Again, winds are way down. It's a tropical storm now. Winds at about 50 miles per hour. And this will be a diminishing system as it rolls into Hawaii, bringing some heavier rain and flooding to Hawaii by the time we get into tomorrow night and Wednesday. As of now, about a 20 to 30 percent chance of sustained tropical storm winds on the Big Island. It will bring some gusty winds, but higher and dangerous seas in the rain threat, the two biggest threats with this as it moves in. Here's Hawaii again. It's entered into that green shading there. These are the water temperatures, 25 degrees, 24 degrees Celsius, which is about 76, 77 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So that is cool. And that's why there has been some of that weakening. So watching that and you can see it here again, it is still a tropical storm as we go through the day today. Again, here's Hawaii watching the Pacific going over the cooler water. It starts to break apart some but there is going to be some squally weather. This is later tomorrow night. So as we get into tomorrow night, some heavier weather working in at least into the big island with this, and then it will bring some rain. Now, the interesting thing is Hawaii actually needs some rain, but again, one of those things in the tropics where it's too much uh, too soon, and there's going to be the possibility of flooding tomorrow night into Wednesday, watching over toward Hawaii. Now, here's Florida. Here are the Bahamas. Here's the Caribbean. And again, there's that wave I'm watching for us off the coast of Africa. You know, I've got you covered on that. This here in the North Atlantic, that is subtropical depression. Don, it went from a tropical storm, subtropical storm, to a, it's been downgraded to a tropical depression now. Should become a storm once again, but still just kind of spinning out there in the North Atlantic between Bermuda and between the Azores, just kind of hanging out there. Now back into the Caribbean, there's been a flare up of rainstorms. Yesterday in uh, Western Puerto Rico, there was a rare tornado. Unfortunately, it caused some damage. Folks are trapped in their cars because tree branches came down. It's not often we get a ton of tornadoes in Puerto Rico, and we had one yesterday, and still some energy around. I've been watching the scattered showers and storms. I'll dive into that in the forecast. Now, we've got a blob of rain here, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Guatemala, and El Salvador squat, uh, scattered showers, Honduras some scattered showers. Not as much in Jamaica, but Jamaica, we are going to see the rain chance getting a little higher, at least some rain and storms scattered about Jamaica, Cayman Islands, and Cuba, and you can see here. Now, this is by the time we get into tomorrow, there's another wave that's going to be coming in. That's before that bigger wave. You still see the rain as we get into the Western Caribbean. Jamaica tomorrow, we could see a little flare up of some rain and storms. But as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday, watch what happens. Trinidad and Tobago, for example. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, Northern Venezuela, Northern Guyana, that rain chance will pick up again. St. Lucia, Barbados, right on the edge of it. A lot of that rain down to the south. So things flaring up again as we get into Wednesday. So plenty going on. I'm trying to take you kind of piece by piece, nice and slowly, to keep you covered on everything in the tropics. Now, Aruba, rain chance for us, 10, 20% the next few days. As we swing toward Curacao, about a 20% chance. Bonaire, 20 to 30% chance. Trinidad and Tobago, remember I just showed you that model. That rain chance will be higher on Wednesday. Scattered showers, a possibility the next couple days over by Port of Spain. But in Trinidad on Wednesday, Trinidad and Tobago, we'll see a good 60, 70% chance of rain. Northern zones on Wednesday, better chance of rain in Guyana, not as much in Suriname. Some of the rain has been cutting off. Isolated showers and storms across Belize the next few days, 20 to 30% chance. Costa Rica, elevate it. Again, we've had that flooding in spots. Costa Rica, Panama, I've been watching that. Jamaica, there are those scattered showers and storms. Again, uh, heating from the day will trigger some. We've had some around watching Falmouth, Montego Bay. We may get some of those scattered storms around. Keep me posted in the comments. Cayman Islands, about a 40% chance today and tomorrow. Hope we get some showers uh, because we need some. Now in Haiti, mainly afternoon stuff, but scattered storm. 60% chance today, a 40% chance tomorrow. That could lead to some isolated flooding today. We'll get some runoff on some of those uh, hillsides. Uh, the Dominican Republic, the elevated chance, again, not all day, but a 60% chance today, tomorrow. That does include tonight as well. Puerto Rico, staying active. I showed you some of that action in the Eastern Caribbean, still streaming in. A 40 to 50% chance of rain today, tonight, into tomorrow. British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Virgin Islands as a whole, 
a 50% chance of some scattered showers today. Bahamas, 30-40% chance watching some of that moisture again pulling off from Florida. It's been very active in Florida. Turks and Caicos, 30-40% to 40 chance by Wednesday. Grenada, Wednesday, that's when that next tropical wave starts to slide in. Not the big wave off the coast of Africa. There's another wave out ahead of it. Rain chance back to 60% on Wednesday for Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So midweek, that rain chance will bump up. Same thing, St. Lucia, a 50% chance on Wednesday. And we do that again in Barbados. 40% chance today, tomorrow, a 50% chance by Wednesday. And swinging toward Dominica, 30% chance today. 40% chance tomorrow, 50% chance on Wednesday. 30% chance of a shower or storm. St. Kitts and Nevis today, back through Montserrat. 40% chance tomorrow. Guadalupe, Martinique, the next two days, rain chance 40% but up to a 50% chance by the middle of the week. And Anguilla, 20 to 30% chance of a passing shower or storm. Antigua and Barbuda, generally the same thing over toward uh, St. Bart's. St. Martin, St. Estacia, 20 to 30% chance of a shower or storm. So again, back-to-back -back big tropical waves out there. There's one that'll bring some rain to say, I showed you Trinidad and Tobago by the middle of the week, okay? So there's that first one. Then there's that bigger one that has the higher chance of developing off the coast of Africa. I'll be watching that for you. What's left of Calvin moving into Hawaii with a rain and flood threat. Don spitting out there in the North Atlantic. And as expected, it is turning into a very active end of July. Again, this is something we talked about at the beginning of the month. So again, right on track. I'll watch everything for you. I got you covered. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this channel. Have a good rest of your day.